We're gonna make the copy cozy. It's a free tutorial pattern on my blog, HungryHippieSews.com. And I bought these uh, speed up workflow templates from ByPiera.com. So I just wanted to show you how I make this. These make really fast sews, uh, scrap busting, great gifts, and so on. So I have a piece of lining fabric here. It's just a scrap. I'm gonna press out the wrinkles first. And I lay that here. Here is my outer fabric piece. And just for safe, I don't know, probably because I'm so used to interfacing everything, I'm gonna interface it with a piece of SF-101. I'm just gonna fuse it onto the wrong side, quick. I just like how it gives it a really smooth finish. The lining is not interfaced because the way we build this is a piece of quilt batting here, or you can use the thermo fleece if you have that. But quilt batting works, and I have lots of it, so that's what I use. Then I place the lining so the right side is facing me, and the exterior right sides together with the lining. I fold all this in half and put my template, which says on the fold here. I know that's really hard to see because it's clear, but I'm placing that on the fold. And then you can draw or you can use a rotary cutter. I'm gonna draw it. So you can see my outline there. Most times I use a rotary, but for this, a lot of people email me that they don't have a rotary cutter. So I'm just going to show you, you can do it with scissors too. few pins in place. And what I like to do is sew all the way around and I leave this whole edge open for turning later. I use a quarter inch seam allowance. Trim the corners and trim the seam allowance a bit. Turn it right side out. along with a tool and press out those edges.
the end in about a quarter of an inch. Now we'll sew across there, closing the opening and all the way around. I grab my cup that I'm going to be using and I measure around the cup and use a pin to hold it in place. If you're using like a Starbucks cup or if you have a reusable cup, they can be different widths. So check that first before you sew this together. As another option, you can use a cam snap and I snap it before I put it on my cup. Don't try to Put it on your paper cup and then press the snap down. That doesn't work. So I'm going to assume that a lot of you don't have a cam snap press. So I'm just going to sew this together like I did for years and years and it works just fine. So the trick to this is I sew, I put it in so that I'm sewing from the inside. You have to take out that pin so you're not sewing over it. And sometimes you have to start a bit further in. And lock stitch. Follow that previous stitching line so you're really straight. You may want your bobbin thread to match your exterior. going to do one more on the other side of that first line that we stitch. I like to sew my labels on the front of these. So if you have labels for your brand or your name or whatever. It's fun to put them right in the center and then when you're carrying your coffee around people see your name, your brand name and I get a lot of questions like oh do you make, did you make that and can you make me one? So just an idea. And within minutes it's finished. These make awesome gifts if you put them on a coffee cup and then put a gift card inside the coffee cup. I find that teachers and babysitters, they really like that.